Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Backendless REST API to remove relations between objects. In this application that you see on my screen, there are two tables. There is category, which contains a category of various retailers, and there is a table called retailer. And I do have here Dillard's and JCPenney. I already pre-created the relationship between the tables and let's review what they look like. So the table category contains a name and contains a column called retailers, which is a one-to-many relation with the table retailer. And table retailer is super simple. It contains just the name. So in this case, my category, which is department store, has relationship with two retailers. If I click on this, we can see that these two retailers, they belong to one category, which is department store. And my goal here is to demonstrate how to use REST API to update this object, which is category. So we have, let's say, only one retailer left in it. And we're going to remove uh, the other retailer from it. In order to do this, I'm going to copy the object ID of the object that I'm working with, which is this uh, category called department store. And I will switch to REST console. In here, if you notice, we have the category table selected and I will put object ID in here so the URL of the request is automatically updated and uh, if I click get I'm going to be loading this category object uh, and you can see the response on the screen. Uh, notice the retailers property is empty for the reason that relationships are not automatically loaded and if I want to populate retailers with a single request I can either set relation relations depth to one in this field or simply select retailers in the drop down for relations if i click get again you notice that the retailers are returned so let's say that we want to return uh, remove dillards from this category so only jcpenney left in there and the rest api for deleting relationships in backendless works this way so i'm going to copy the whole object and put it into the request body. And in here, I'm gonna simply delete Dillard's from the collection of retailers and leave everything exactly as it is. So essentially, it's, I'm gonna be taking exactly the same object returned by Backendless and then removing one of the retailers from the collection and then issuing the put command. Uh, here, this is the editor, which lets you edit uh, the object. You can click pretty print. So it parses JSON and displays it uh, if, if it is valid using the pretty print. You can always go back to editor. But notice here, if I were to click put, we now got the response. And if we switch to data browser, we have the retailer uh, uh, as the relationship with category. Notice both retailer objects are still there. However, if I click on the link from category to retailer, there's only one now. So Dillard's is no longer has a relationship with a uh, category. In fact, if I click on retailer, you notice that Dillard's doesn't have this back reference back to category. So uh, as far as the REST API, simply removing that object from the body that you're sending back to backendless with a put request will uh, unlink these two objects one from another. Uh, there is also a, a simplified method uh, which is almost identical, but it involves sending uh, less data. Let me show you how that would work. So let me recreate this relationship between department store and Dillard's. I'm going to click plus and select Dillard's and click update relation. So now both retailers, they point back to my category and I will repeat exactly the same process that I have shown previously to you. Click on rest console. We have this object ID. Let me click uh, get. So we're getting exactly the same thing as before. Once again, I will copy the entire response and paste it here. Uh, in order to update this relation, what we did previously, we removed Dillard's and I'm going to do it one more time. However, there is no reason to send all of that data back. In fact, let me show you what's the minimum amount of data that you need to send to update these relations. So in the retailer that is left in there, and this is JCPenney, I'm keeping the object ID and I'm keeping the uh, triple underscore class. And then everything else 
can be removed except for the triple uh, double double underscore meta property this one needs to stay exactly as it is so this is in fact the minimum rest uh, uh, body the JSON object that you need to send back in order to update the relationship and uh, if I click put and go back to data browser we have both retailers but notice that Dillard's is no longer linked to category so this is it. This is how you would be uh, updating relationships between objects in the canvas. Thank you and happy coding.